Slugs and snails are continuously voted the number one most dreaded pest by UK gardeners. They can do a huge amount of damage really quickly and decimate plants overnight, sometimes wiping out whole crops of seedlings or bedding plants. Um, but there are ways of tackling them and today I'm going to show you a few of those hints and tips that'll keep them at bay. Now the most humane way of tackling slugs and snails is to actually create a physical barrier between the slug and the snail and the plant. Now this can be done in a number of ways. Um, the first I would recommend is using something sharp like these terracotta shards. Uh, they've got really sharp pointy edges uh, which they won't want to cross and they're also quite porous which tends to absorb their moisture so they really don't like it at all. Now I'm not sure about the science behind it but also copper is said to be very good at repelling slugs and snails. These two here can be um, placed around the rim of a pot. They've got an adhesive sticky back. This one's also got this sharp edge to it as well. So that's going to be a, a dual acting uh, repellent there. And if you've got plants growing in the ground, then these collars, copper collars, are going to be the thing. They just pull apart. You can clip that around uh, the, the base of the plant and then seal it up and Bob's your uncle. Finally, of course, there are copper rim cloches and these all protect your plants, not just from slugs and snails, but rabbits and pigeons and all sorts of bigger pests as well. Beer traps are also really effective. Just fill the reservoirs with some beer and pop the lid back on, place it in your borders and the slugs and snails are attracted through here by the smell of the beer. They get disorientated and never want to come out. So you will need to empty these, but they're really effective and you can get up to 50 a night. Um, this is a biological control. These are nematodes, which are microscopic worms, which are naturally present in your soil anyway. Um, but these ones uh, will attack slugs below the soil surface. So all you do is you mix this powder-like stuff with water in your watering can and water it into your soil. Um, it's got to be done to be effective. Your soil temperature needs to be above 5 degrees Celsius. And of course, last but not least, are the chemical controls. Um, these pellets should always be sprinkled in the garden and not placed in piles and that's purely to stop birds and other animals eating them.